Sprites or red sprites are large-scale electrical discharges that occur high above thunderstorm clouds, or cumulonimbus, giving rise to a quite varied range of visual shapes flickering in the night sky. They are usually triggered by the discharges of positive lightning between an underlying thundercloud and the ground. Sprites appear as luminous reddish-orange flashes. They often occur in clusters above the troposphere at an altitude range of 50 to 90 kilometers 31 to 56 miles. Sporadic visual reports of sprites go back at least to 1886, but they were first photographed on July 6, 1989 by scientists from the University of Minnesota and have subsequently been captured in video recordings many thousands of times. Sprites are sometimes inaccurately called upper atmospheric lightning. However, sprites are cold plasma phenomena that lack the hot channel temperatures of tropospheric lightning, so they are more akin to fluorescent tube discharges than to lightning discharges. History Allusions to transient optical phenomena above thunderclouds can be found in anecdotal reports by Johann Georg Ester as early as 1730. Nobel laureate C. T. R. Wilson had suggested in 1925, on theoretical grounds, that electrical breakdown could occur in the upper atmosphere, and in 1956 he witnessed what possibly could have been a sprite. They were first documented photographically on July 6, 1989, when scientists from the University of Minnesota, using a low-light video camera, accidentally captured the first image of what would subsequently become known as a sprite. Several years after their discovery they were named sprites air spirits after their elusive nature. Since their 1989 discovery, sprites have been imaged from the ground, from aircraft and from space, and have become the subject of intensive investigations. Characteristics <laughs> 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 Sprites have been observed over North America, Central America, South America, Europe, Central Africa, Zaire, Australia, the Sea of Japan and Asia and are believed to occur during most large thunderstorm systems. Three types of sprites have been categorized by Matthew Jeff McCard Ph.D. U.A.K. of the U.S. Air Force Research Academy and NASA. Using an image intensifier on the front of super slow motion camera McCarg and his researchers have named the sprites based on their visual appearance. Jellyfish sprite, very large, up to 30 by 30 miles 48 by 48 kilometers. Column sprite, C sprite large scale electrical discharges above the earth that are still not totally understood. Carrot sprite, a column sprite with long tendrils, sprites are colored reddish-orange in their upper regions, with bluish hanging tendrils below, and can be preceded by a reddish halo. They last longer than normal lower stratospheric discharges, which last typically a few milliseconds, and are usually triggered by the discharges of positive lightning between the thundercloud and the ground, although sprites generated by negative ground flashes have also been observed. They often occur in clusters of two or more, and typically span the altitude range 50 to 90 kilometers 31 to 56 miles, with what appear to be tendrils hanging below, and branches reaching above. 
Optical imaging using a 10,000 frame per second high-speed camera shows that sprites are actually clusters of small, decameter-sized 10 to 100 meters or 33 to 328 feet balls of ionization that are launched at an altitude of about 80 kilometers 50 miles and then move downward at speeds of up to 10% the speed of light, followed a few milliseconds later by a separate set of upward moving balls of ionization. Sprites may be horizontally displaced by up to 50 kilometers 31 miles from the location of the underlying lightning strike, with a time delay following the lightning that is typically a few milliseconds, but on rare occasions may be up to 100 milliseconds. In order to film sprites from Earth, special conditions must be present, 150 to 500 kilometers 93 to 311 miles of clear view to a powerful thunderstorm with positive lightning between cloud and ground, red sensitive recording equipment, and a black unlit sky. Topic. Sprite halo Sprites are sometimes preceded, by about one millisecond, by a sprite halo, a pancake-shaped region of weak, transient optical emissions approximately 50 km miles across and 10 km miles thick. The halo is centered at about 70 kilometers, 43 miles altitude above the initiating lightning strike. These halos are thought to be produced by the same physical process that produces sprites, but for which the ionization is too weak to cross the threshold required for streamer formation. They are sometimes mistaken for elves, due to their visual similarity and short duration. Research carried out at Stanford University in 2000 indicates that, unlike sprites with bright vertical columnar structure, occurrence of sprite halos is not unusual in association with normal negative lightning discharges. Research in 2004 by scientists from Tohoku University found that very low frequency emissions occur at the same time as the sprite, indicating that a discharge within the cloud may generate the sprites. Topic: <laughs> Related aircraft damage. Sprites have been blamed for otherwise unexplained accidents involving high-altitude vehicular operations above thunderstorms. One example of this is the malfunction of a NASA stratospheric balloon launched on June 6, 1989 from Palestine, Texas. The balloon suffered an uncommanded payload release while flying at 120,000 feet meters over a thunderstorm near Graham, Texas. Months after the accident, an investigation concluded that a bolt of lightning traveling upward from the clouds provoked the incident. The attribution of the accident to a sprite was made retroactively, since this term was not coined until late 1993. See also Aurora astronomy Catatumbo lightning Cosmic ray visual phenomena